Um, these ones just appear to be a little bit more tricky than they actually are. Um, but we do have to understand what the difference between that product property and the quotient property and even the power property of these logarithm stuff. Because right here it gave us log base B of 28. And these are all log base Bs, right? Which means really the base doesn't matter. So 28, how is that related to 4 and 7? Well, you'd multiply them, right? Yeah. So in other words, log base B of 28, I can change this to log base B of, I'm going to make this 4 times 7. And uh, that's a product rule 1, which means I can change this now to be the log base B of 4. And I'm going to add this to the log base B of 7, right? Well, up here at the top, it told us what the log base B of 4 is, and that's 0 0.87. So I'm going to replace that with 0 0.87. And I'll add it to the log base B of 7, which in this case is 1.21. 1.21. And when I add these two together, I should get uh, 2.08. And that would be my answer. In other words, uh, the log base B of 28 actually ends up being 2.08, which we found using the product rule.